everything that we care about, the, the, what the, the community, the nation, Britain, whatever it, is that you, whatever it is that you care about in this context, Britain doesn't really exist, not in any practical sense. It's just an idea, or it might better be described as a dream that's shared by sufficient people at the same time to, to make it a collective entity that we all understand. And it means that I, I, I sometimes, I've, I've, I've used the phrase before that I think Britain at the moment is, is subject to a controlled demolition project. You know, Brit Britain has been being taken apart you know, by those that would asset strip it and replace it with something else. But, but the point is that what we love and what we care about, we make it together because we hold Britain, we hold the community, we hold all of these things in our hearts. That's the only place that these things actually are real and reside. And it's in a, it's in a room like this, a hot room like this, and the, and the heat is the energy of people. And it's the, it's the energy of people conspiring and breathing together. And so while I am naturally, to be quite honest with you, uh, a glass is half empty kind of a guy, I, I use that to remind myself of the necessity to have faith, whatever, you, whatever the word faith means to you. I force myself to have faith. I force myself to contemplate that our freedom is inalienable, which is to say it's not given to you by any person, and for that reason it can't be taken from you by any person, and most important of all, you can't give it up. Because it's inalienable, it's when someone comes to you and says, I want to take your freedom from you, I want to enslave you, even if it seems like the soft option to submit to that, you can't because your freedom is your inalienable right, which is to say it's at that moment that you have to stand and say, you're going to have to tear my freedom from me like my beating heart, because I can't give you it. You'll have to take it from me with life itself. And so I get, and you know, when, when I heard um, Beverly talking and her voice broke a little bit with emotion, and when she was speaking about in advance of me coming up here, I felt my own, a lump in my, in my own throat. And I see again, that's the right response because I think it comes from a place of love. It's about love, about all of the things that are important and all of the things that are important are here in this room tonight because we're together and everything will be all right. <laughs>